Nightside. 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 This is the Nightside Project. <laughs> I can read you like a book. Uh -huh, you read books. Nightside on KSL. Funniness happens. And I can say whatever I want because I know my wife's not actually listening. Famous last words there, Alex. <laughs> the Nightside Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Carey on KSL News Radio. Welcome to the Nightside Project. I'm Ethan Millard. Alex Carey has stepped away from the program today, so I'm joined by visiting co host Taylor Powers. Taylor, thanks for doing this. Happy to be here as always. Now, Taylor, you may or may not know this. Taylor hosts another program with me called Your Utah. So you can grab that on your in your favorite podcast location if you're interested in if things going on around utah you know fun stuff amazing <laughs> things most people that aren't in utah don't really care <laughs> no no i guess that's true but it is a good option yeah. we're actually going to be recording one of those a little bit later this afternoon but first uh we have a lot happening because our commitment is to help you finish your day finish your commute happy uh this applies to us too we also need to finish our day happy and our commute such that it is though it hasn't begun yet we wanted to finish happy so we've got an awesome zen headline coming up it was teed up to us on twitter we'll tell you about a a man who tested the limits of an airline baggage process he tested the limits came out on top we'll tell you his story but first taylor i'm going to take you to los angeles in your mind <laughs> not Damn. actually for the show right for the show how would that be amazing right so in Los Angeles, there is this beautiful art space where they hold kind of pop-up art shows. It's called the 14th Factory, 150,000 square feet of art space. One of, the, one of the displays that they've had up is an art exhibit uh, from British artist Simon Birch. He's based in Hong Kong. And people were there. They were checking out the art. And if there are people anywhere checking out anything, they're also going to be taking selfies now i want to hear this first from you though are you the kind of person that goes out to enjoy things and then just selfies the crap out of it are you I, a big selfier i am i'm not a big selfier sometimes I've, if uh family selfies like getting everyone in the group shot oh, okay i'll do those but just me and something no not so much no see i'm the same way because i kind of feel like look i'm here to enjoy this in person i don't want to look at it through a screen i don't yeah. want to obsess over the photo i want to enjoy the moment well, that's good advice for this woman. Let me show you what happened. Now, this is a, this was the surveillance camera, okay? Now, here's what you can see. This is the art installation, okay? Now, this is, what, a couple of dozen of these pillars. And on each of these pillars is a small sculpture, uh, an artist's reinvention of the concept of crown jewels, all right? Mm -hmm. So that's basically all this is. I'm with you. Now, if you'll focus your attention, I'm going to give you a little heads up to where the action begins. It's these two women here. Okay, you see them here? I just, I just circled them. Yes, I circled I see them. them with my cursor. Okay, those two women there. That's where the action is going to break out. Ready? So I'm going to play the video here. Now you can see one of them's taking a photo. Very nice photo, looking down the row of crowns, sculptures, very, very beautiful. They're very impressed. And this other girl turns around and says, look, I'm going to do a selfie. So she crouches. She turns to crouch and no, she knocks one over, <laughs> oh, no. which knocks the next one, the next one, the next one in a domino effect that the, uh, that the owners of the gal the gallery owners say uh, did $200,000 worth of damage. Oh my gosh. Can you believe that? He's walking Two around there with his hands up, freaking out. Yes. $200,000 worth of damage. Did she have to pay for it? No, she didn't. But her punishment is being on the internet forever. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, look at this. I mean, this is the classic thing. Number one, she's clearly not wearing the shoes for a selfie. And she's not wearing the skirt for a selfie. Because look at how she had to kind of squat down there. She had to do that whole awkward thing where I've got a hugely short skirt. And I'm going to try and kind of preserve some modesty. And I've also got to preserve my balance so she's got to she's got to handle modesty and balance in the same moment that then she has to extend her arm out and shoot a photograph frame and shoot a photograph and that is i think a lot for even the best multitasking. can we see it again so we could observe the other people in the room their reaction 
So I see these people over here on the left. The one guy puts his hands up on his head, this guy here, and he's just a, he's just a bystander. And the girl doesn't even get up for a second. She doesn't even get up. I think she knows what's happened. She knows what's happened. She's like, I'll just crawl out. <laughs> I mean, can you believe that? But it's seriously, I think that we are, and I'm, I'm not joking here. I think that we are not giving enough thought to just the sheer danger, the real danger that selfies of put us in. Is it a verb? Can it be a verb? Selfieing, yeah, selfie. sure. Because it's multitasking <laughs> in some real dangerous situations. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, uh, I, I can see a lot of concern there. Yeah, well, these gallery owners obviously were not super impressed, so I'm going to play it on the way out. When we come back, we'll tell you about the young man who challenged an airline and won. It's an amazing story.